Let's begin with those claims out of Russia that Ukrainian forces tried to strike Russian President Vladimir Putin's residence at the Kremlin with two drones. Now, Russia provided no evidence. Ukraine is denying any role. Let's get right to NBC News Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel and retired Lieutenant General Steph Twitty. Richard, these are unproven claims coming from Russia, not backed by evidence right now. What more do we know about the situation right now? So we know there are quite a few videos, and uh, our social media verification team here in London has been poring over these videos, and their job is to troll the Internet, and they do that every single day, to look at videos, try and understand what happened, trying to see if, if they're real or not. And generally, in incidents, what, what happens is you get a video, it catches on like wildfire, and it spreads across the Internet. Uh, what happened in this case uh, is not nearly as organic. Um, uh, these times are all in Russia. So the first video came out uh, at or 2.37 local time, Moscow time, and that showed the aftermath, or what would claim to be the aftermath of some sort of drone attack against the Kremlin. So you see a little bit of smoke. Then there's nothing else. And that first uh, video, which was posted on Telegram, which is an encrypted app, which is very popular in Russia and all across Eastern Europe, uh, was, was the first and only video. Then there's a 12-hour gap, roughly, in which nothing was posted at all, and then several videos suddenly emerge, uh, almost at the same time, around 3 p.m. local Moscow time. And those videos were of a high quality. They showed the aftermath of this alleged attack and also showed the, the video of the Kremlin before the attack took place and show what appears to be a drone flying at high speed and, and exploding as it impacts or is it about to impact a, a, a dome inside the Kremlin compound. And that, uh, that when this second batch of videos came out, again, high quality, they look like they were taken uh, from uh, security camera footage in, in one of the videos, uh, the best video, you can actually see someone if you zoom in on it, uh, using what looks like a cell phone to take video of the uh, security camera video. Uh, as those were, were put out, that is when the Kremlin started issuing its statements uh, saying that this was an attack by Kyiv, that this was an attack against uh, Vladimir Putin, that it was an assassination attempt, and that uh, Moscow reserves the right to uh, respond at a time and place of its choosing. So uh, we, we don't know if this incident took place. We don't know what happened. But there is a, uh, a sequence of events based on, on, on the videos that came out that suggest uh, that this was a, a, a controlled release at the very least.